EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of the Ryder Cup in 2021, Whistling Straight, it's live first round coverage of the season opening event, the Wisconsin Open. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. And there's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. What an exciting time, our featured golfer beginning the professional journey, the Corn Ferry Tour. It's a good time to bring in our friend Nota Begay III, four times a winner on the PGA Tour, and he cut his teeth on this very circuit. Uh, Nota, uh, what do you remember about that time? And I have a sneaking suspicion one round in particular is going to pop into your mind. Well, Rich, uh, yes, a great memory for me. Shot the first 59 in the history of the Corn Ferry Tour, which is a, a huge um, positive memory in my mind. And uh, what it did tell me in terms of my career and what it meant moving forward was the fact that you have to go out and you have to be aggressive. You have to make birdies and you have to shoot low scores. There's no laying up on the Corn Ferry Tour if you want to take that next big step to the big show. Okay, that's in for par here at the first, and he'll stay at level par. And shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. On the fourth year at Whistling Straits, it's challenging enough. You just have to find the fairway, and that's what we've done here. So, still a chance of making a par or better. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. From about eight feet. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll remain right where he is. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. And not much up or downhill here, so speed not a consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. Mm, just played a little too much break there and hung it out to the left. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll stay right where he is. Broken record, but finding the fairway here is crucial as it should set up just a wedge in with a downhill approach.
Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Stephen. And it's a short hole, the sixth here at Whistling Straits, the shortest on the front nine, in fact. To get to this back portion of the green, you have to carry plenty of trouble, but be particularly aware of that deep pot bunker that's nestled in the gremlin's ear. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. That slope, it is in for a birdie. Be aware of that and just aim that tee shot a little further left than you'd uh, think you would. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of rolled out, and that is a good shot. Now, no to his second from the fairway. 156 yards left, pin in the right front. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Right around six feet here for birdie. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth, and that's going to make this a two under 34 for the front side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Ten foot putt left. Mmm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. Contact and a nice result, and a chance for birdie coming up. 13 feet away. Ah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And he'll move to within three of the lead at four under par. Problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Shot does finish up on the green, but it sets up for a very difficult putt. 
So definitely a tough putt coming up. Got to get this to the back of the green, up the hill for Eagle. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he's going to get to within two of the lead as he moves to five under par. 270 yard carry over the sand dunes and bunkers. Safer to play it to the right. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. good for these players. It lands it on the putting surface from a million miles away and still manages to hold the green. about the speed here are you kidding that is exceptional from that distance that is worth a wow so it's happened there that's for par at the last and this will be an opening round 67 on the scorecard well done uh, final look at the opening round leaderboard. It shows our featured golfer just two back a day's end. Makes that second round even more important, Rich. Don't want to get too adrift come moving day. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Whistling Straits Golf Course on the shores of Lake Michigan, live second round coverage of the Wisconsin Open. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. It's 
second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Stephen. Yes, hello, Rich. What a treat we're in for today. The backdrop of Lake Michigan and over a thousand bunkers. Some reports say a thousand and twelve. So finding the fairway essential around this track and we're off to a solid start. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still. Frank, that's what you want to do. Good lag pack. Yeah, they can't all go in. Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And he'll remain one shot back. And that one wanders off to the right, so time to see if the wedge can save him. Oh, missed the green at the par three. No problem. That is in from off the putting surface for an unlikely two. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. I'd call that so-so. I think you'd hope to get that a little closer. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And now he's going to fall a couple of shots off the pace. Okay, safely aboard. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Ah, yes, runs that one right in. It's a Birdie here at the seven. And that's going to move him to six under par. Dig in with his second to the par four. Do you realize there's green grass on this hole? Bunker off the tee, now bunker again. I'm going to have so much sand in those shoes by the time we finish this hole. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. This from seven feet. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And he's going to remain one shot off the pace. It's to the flag. So, getting this to a good number. The key here for his second. Oh, pa. 
par fives too. They're the ones you really want to make birdie on. But the second shot, uh, it's gone into that bunker. It's an awkward third. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11, and he'll remain right where he is. You don't need a driver, but somehow you've got to get that ball in the fairway. Remember, 250 yards, only leaves 145 in. Oh, that is way right. Not a big issue, though it is in the rough. Should have a go at this one. Second shot now, 14th hole. Hmm, from the rough into the bunker, or the frying pan into the fire, sometimes mistakes. They just have a way of compounding themselves. Nope, that is not much of an improvement. An awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Okay, not a bad recovery from out of the sand. And a chance, maybe to limit the damage to one drop shot. Ah, uh, well read. That's in for a bogey five. And he's gonna fall to three shots off the lead. Seems on the right. We do sort of speckled with bunkers as well. And then there's a little sliver of green grass in between. That's the green. Cleans that up in the hole. Side requiring a 270 yard carry over the sand dunes and bunkers. Safer to play it to the right. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Good for these players. It lands it on the putting surface from a million miles away and still manages to hold the green. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the barrel for Birdie here at 18. And that will be a touch worse than round one. It is a second round, 71. So for our featured golfer, Frank, they're in good position here for the weekend. Just a couple of shots back of our leader. 
basically it's just birdie bogey and they're tied. I think that's the way we've got to look at it come uh, tomorrow. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. From the eastern shores of Wisconsin and Whistling Straits, it's live third round coverage of the Wisconsin Open. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Some good names up there, including our leader, And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. Second shot straight ahead and we go to Iona Steven. Hi Rich, it's great to be here. We are in for an adventurous ride today, the backdrop of Blue Lake, Michigan. But finding the short grass, the fairway, one of the hardest things to do around here. So we're off to a promising start. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Just five feet left. Well done, that is in for a par here at the first. And he's gonna stay two back. Being on the right hand side makes it even more so. We're looking at a blind second shot. With that pop bunker just 35 yards, short of the green, making it even more tough. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Two good shots on this par five, leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And that's going to get him to one under for the round and seven under now for the tournament. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe liked to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Nicely done. It is a far here at the third. And he'll remain one shot back. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead and we go to Iona Steven. And the fourth year at Whistling Straits, it's challenging enough. You just have to find the fairway. And that's what we've done here. So, still a chance of making a par or better.
Good chance at one. Rich, there's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, you know it's going to be close. More evidence there. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And he gets it to two under for today's round and eight under for Iona Steven. And it's a smart play to take it down the left-hand side here at the fifth hole. And most likely we're looking at three shots from here on in. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Four feet, all that's left for birdie. Yeah, there's another one. Back to back birdies here at four and five. And he's worked it to nine under par. And we'll have to see here, it looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. This is a 19-foot putt. No, kind of underread that one, and it winds up missing below the hole. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And he'll fall back to eight under par. Boy, that one did not want to slow down at all, and it winds up running right through the green. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to remain at eight under. Going to have to thread a long iron in between those bunkers right and Lake Michigan. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. 14 feet to the hole. Oh, yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause.
has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. A birdie putt here at the 11th. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. This is looking really good. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. This is an 11 foot putt. Ah, I nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. So a tap in there, that's for par at the last. And that will mean this is a Saturday score of 68 for this third round. So our future golfer likely gonna be doing a little toss and a turn tonight, working with a 54 hole lead and looking for that first PGA Tour win. Frank, dial it back a few years. <laughs> what's that? A, a, a lot of years. Yeah, what, what, what's, that, what's that like? Well, I remember when I was 22, my first uh, professional win was in Australia. and. You, you actually don't know. You ask yourself the question, you look at the leaderboard, all those players in front of you, do I really fit? And then after 18 agonizing holes, you go, I belong. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Sheboygan, Wisconsin, it's live final round coverage of the season opening event, the Wisconsin Open. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. He's on top by one entering play. And that'll do just fine. A good start to this final round, safely in the fairway at one. This is quite a development here. Is it shocking? Not necessarily, because this golfer has always had a lot of talent, but it is the first ever professional start. Corn Ferry Tour, highly competitive. 
So with that, let's bring in Noda Begay the third. And Noda, what's your sense of what we're watching, this professional debut, and it could be a debut victory? Yeah, maybe a little bit uh, shocking, but certainly unexpected and to a certain degree unconventional. Uh, young players typically don't... And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Nice. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And that's going to preserve this tenuous one-shot lead. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Oh, yes, a brilliant roll there. It's birdie here at number two. And he'll move into red figures for the round at 1-under and 11-under for the tournament. And now problems there for our leader. That ball into the very thick stuff here off the tee. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. And that cushion's going to remain two shots. On the left, second shot up there, and then just take the wedge in. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. Iona, a second coming up. Yeah, and it was an aggressive line off the tee, understandable, but no, we're over here in this sea of trouble on the right-hand side, and from this point, you've just got to get it back in play. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Two good shots on this par five, leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Nicely played, it's a birdie at the fifth. And he moves to two under for his round, 12 under all told. And then the gremlins here itself, the pot bunker at the elbow of the green. Ooh, that started well right. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. Pretty shaggy lie here as he'll try to muster up something for his second.
Just a little over ambitious on that chip shot. Just sailed past. This is a 22-foot putt. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And the lead is down to two. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. Look here at Birdie. And this really is all about visualization. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you, and aim for that. Online all the way, it's in for a birdie. And he gets it to 12 under par. 92 yards for his second to this par four. Uh, it's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and uh, far from the best shot I've seen today. This is a nine footer. That's a good putt. It's in for par here at the ninth. And that's going to make this a 234 for the front side. Oh, he's pulled it. Oh, and that one nosedives right into the thick stuff. That could be problematic, to say the least. Going to take an extra club or two to get out of this mess as he sets for his second. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a Birdie. And if he can finish this out, he would claim his second victory on the year. and it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. Anything on the green would be a good result from here as he readies his second out of the sand. Oh. 
I love it when one of the hardest shots in golf look easy. That's how good that shot was. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And the lead swells to four with five holes to play. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. 12 feet still to go. Ah, yes. Well, right there. That is in for par here at 15. And he'll maintain that four-shot lead. That ball couldn't quite get through unscathed. It's going to be knocked down by the leaves and wind up in the heavy stuff. Now, that's not a bad shot. And the reason why I say that, you see the light, thick, heavy, rough, just to forge that one out and get it on the green. Good guy. tracking on a very good line. Look out. Oh, in style. What a putt there at 16. It is down for a birdie. And the rest of the field squarely in the rear view mirror now. This is up to a five shot lead. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And this one, close to being over, as it'll remain a five-shot cushion. You can come in with a shorter iron if you take the aggressive line off the tee, but that's a 270-yard carry over the dunes and bunkers. If you want to play it safe, you go down the right side. That's going to leave you a longer shot in. You make four here, you will have earned it. You make three you will have likely won it all. We'll see how much that missed fairway is going to cost him this, his second from far back.
Not taking the easy road on this hole, but still a chance to get out of here respectably, Frank. Yeah, if that ball had just missed that bunker, got some decent distance out of that deep rough. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. Now a seven-footer. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for his par here at 18. And this will be a strong final round score of 67. Well, Frank, I guess we can say... Hello world, it is a Sunday to remember our featured player, a champion for the very first time. Let the celebrations ring in, that's for sure, and let the career fully ignite and start and go stratospheric. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.